Hi, my name is Bronwyn Crawford. I play for the women's soccer team for TRU. I'm from Kamloops, BC. I play center mid, and I'm in the Bachelor of Arts here at TRU. Bronwyn, being from Kamloops, was, was TRU something natural that you wanted to go to, or, or why did you choose the, the Wolfpack and, and taking your arts program here? Uh, it was natural. My parents both teach here. This has been my home since I was two years old. My, a few of my best friends came to TRU right out of high school. And originally, because Tom actually was from McMaster, I'd kind of thought of going there first because Tom's been such a huge influence on my soccer career. But then I just decided kind of in grade 12 that the best choice for me was to stay and represent Kamloops, my hometown, and play for the Wolfpack. You came back last year, and, and <laughs> you mentioned your childhood friends, uh, Alana Beckering, who's co-captain with you this yes. year, and, and Blair McKay, who has uh, since graduated. Mm -hmm. How special was that, uh, coming back and, uh, and for Elise Blair, finishing her career uh, with the two of you? That was, it was actually so exciting, because I think Alana, Blair, and I all got All-Canadians last year, which was, or not All-Canadians, the All-Stars. Pac-West Pac All-Stars. All -Stars. And uh, it was just so nice being able to, three of us who've played soccer since we were 10 years old together, and been best friends from that, so 14, almost 14 years. And so it was just so special to get to experience going to nationals with them and PEI, and just, it was, last year was such a blast for all of us. and. Even this year, it's been weird not having Blair around, and even Maddie Reed that I played my first two years here with, not having her around because of her hips and her having surgery. So, but I'm so excited that I get to have Alana here this year and playing her fifth year with, and being captain with her this year. It's very exciting. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you have an average week in, like, especially that like, your season goes uh, begin mid August, it gets underway with training camp, yep. and it goes all the way until November, when, when hopefully we go to the national yes. championships yet again. Yeah. Uh, you know, what's your average week during that time? Uh, so we train usually Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and sometimes we do set plays on Friday. So I usually try and um, schedule my classes around so that I don't miss any training sessions. So I usually just go to school, play soccer, and uh, like when I have any free time, I'm either doing homework and, or spending it with the team. I know we need to see each other more. But, and then playing games every weekend. And it's just so much fun because I get to be with my best friends every day and playing the sport that I've loved ever since I was four years old. So it's, it is tough balancing the two, school and soccer. You definitely have to take the support you're given from the university. I know there's a lot of, you know, after training programs that they did last year for the rookies and um, just having a lot of people on the team who are really dedicated to school and they're very helpful for people who d are unsure how to prioritize their time between school and soccer. But last year was really good to see how people balanced and, you know, people on road trips doing homework in the hotels and that kind of thing. But yeah, it's it's probably around an average week. How's it how's it difficult? Let's talk about the road trips. Like doing your homework, uh, you know, and on the buses is is that something that uh, is an acquired skill? Oh my goodness, very much so. I found it really tough. The only times I could really do on the buses is read textbooks, but I don't know. It's really hard when I just love spending time with all the girls on the team, and we laugh so much. So it is tough for me at least doing homework on the road trips. So I have to really focus during the weeks because we just have so much fun on our road trips. But there are girls who are really good at doing it on the buses. It, so it's definitely acquired. You definitely have to really focus. What makes this team so special? Uh, we just get along so well. There's just set, there, you know, we don't have any cliques. There's no, everyone's just such good friends. We, you know, we spend every weekend together whenever we have free time. There's no one really left out of all of that. You know, we'll just go out and go for dinner. Like last night after training, a bunch of us went for sushi and we just have such a good time together. We just, it's so special, the chemistry that we have. And this year, I really think that we're going to be able to take that chemistry onto the field and be really successful. What's it like being a role model in this community? Five radio stations cover mm -hmm. you, uh, television, two newspapers. Um, our games are being webcast this year for, on soccer for the yeah. first time. You know, what's that being like when you, when you go into a, a grocery store, you're wearing your Wolfpack uh, apparel and people recognize you? Uh, it's, it feels just so neat feeling it's just so much more part of the community and part of Kamloops. You don't just feel like you're just living here. You just feel, you know, these people like to come out and watch. And I was working at the lunchbox this summer and I wore Wolfpack shirts almost every day. And 
I don't, every day I'd have someone comment, oh, you play on the soccer team, and they'd ask questions about it, and they'd say, oh, well, like, I think I'm going to come and watch your games this year, and they, especially from last year, the success that we had, you know, people heard about us more, and they're like, oh, these, like, these girls, we need to go watch them. So it was just neat seeing how many people, like, see the orange color, and they see the wolf pack, and they say, oh, you play for the wolf pack, and you just feel that sense of pride, and it's just such a neat feeling, like, hearing on the radio, like, everyone come support, like, the women's soccer team and the men's soccer team this weekend, and you just feel like, that's me. So it's really exciting. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, final question. Words of advice to a, uh, a parent that's maybe watching this and their, their, ch their child is looking at TRU or there's a potential athlete looking to come to Thompson Rivers University to play soccer or any other sport. What would you say to them? I would say that this is such a great university to come to. Um, there's just among, not even just the soccer teams, just the community of the athletes of the Wolf Pack is it's the best, you know, coming in here doing homework, um, walking around campus and just knowing all the athletes. And it's just such a great school for athletics. We just love the pride that we have on the field and just in the school. And it's, I don't know, I just tell them that it'd be a great place to decide to come, as well as the schooling is great. It's a great school to come to.